Hi, yeah, I'm Allison. It's the start of the third week of the Magical Readathon for me and the beginning of exam week, Monday, April 22nd. Exams start tomorrow at Aurelium Academy. And I have developed quite the reputation for missing morning classes and late evening classes. Here's my schedule for the today. Got quite a bit of study hall, but I still have some official classes that I need to attend. And I am staying on brand, living up to my stellar track record because I have already missed my morning study hall and I need that time. So I've got astronomy this morning, supposed to attend that for two hours. If I don't get it in gear, I'm going to miss a lot of that class. So let's find out what fate has in store for me today. And then I'll run off to my class afterwards this afternoon. We'll take a little closer look at what all's coming up and how I'm going to pull this off. Hopefully make some kind of a game plan. But first, we need the fate deck. It'll be a really nice if it gives me extra time today. Well, I, I don't know. Actually, I'll just settle for not removing time. <laughs> At least from the astronomy class. Or the other one on there, a dragon riding. Okay, are you ready? Let's see what we get. Clean dorm, dorm room. Find four books to donate. Unhaul. Actually, I don't mind that. I, I do need to do a clean up. So, this afternoon, I will find a four books to add to my unhaul stack. Okay, that'll work. I'm okay with that. I guess Nicilla's roommates were getting a little sick of her mess. She probably has books piled on every surface. Kind of like this room is turning to be, turning out to be. Okay, what am I doing? Uh, astronomy class. Okay, according to my a progress report that I just got on Friday, I am 59% of the way through the book. Still have quite a ways to go, and it is already 1045. So I've lost 45 minutes of this class, and I lost my first study hall. Yay me. So I better run if I'm going to have at least a full hour, hour and 15 minutes if I hurry. I will be back with y'all after I attend this. And like I said, we'll, we'll take a look at what I can expect for the week. All right. I'll see you soon. All right, it's like 1.30 Monday afternoon and I did attend, if I can get it, astronomy. I went for like an hour and 15 minutes. Would have been nice if I had the full two hours, but the exam for this one isn't until Thursday, so I think it'll be okay. I'm not panicked as of this moment because, you know, I'm, I've made pretty good progress. This does read really fast. It's a reread. I've read it multiple times. And this is my least favorite in the entire series. So I will be glad when I reach the end of it. I do have this afternoon just study hall. So I can use that to catch up on any classes that I'm behind in or to gain more time in the classes that are on the schedule for the day. So I could get use it to get a little bit ahead in City of Lost Souls or for Aragon, which is my only evening class that's mandatory for the day. But tomorrow I have the Bog Cataloger exam. So I think what I'm going to do is use at least one hour of this afternoon for Bog Cataloger, which is, well, that was unexpected. That way, if there are any surprises come out, I, I won't be kicking myself later. It's probably best to get ahead of it as much as possible. And I will also get to open the last gift that comes with that because that's the Once Upon a Book Club box. And I'm really loving that book. So I think that's going to be my plan. And then I'll be able to finish that other video for the, the reading vlog that I have going on that one. So I'm going to do that and I will be back with y'all later. And that's when we'll go over like the nitty gritty, kind of come up with a game plan for exam week because it's going to get a little tricky, I think. All right. I will check back with y'all after I've probably done both of my afternoon study halls. So I will see you tonight. And Finley wanted to come over and say hello. So he, he's definitely still a cuddle. Bit. I just wish he would. 
I think he's on the mic. <laughs> Sorry if he's on the mic. I don't even know where it is. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go to class. I will see y'all later. Guess what? It's no longer Monday, it's Tuesday. But before we get in today, let's backtrack to Monday and let me tell you about how the rest of my day played out. Thankfully, I can say I did go to some classes and everything, but I was just dragging feet so bad. I was in a monotone frame of mind and the video would have been nothing but like Bueller, Bueller, and I was bored with it. I wasn't going to subject y'all to it. So I decided to not record anything last night and see if I can just piece it together for you this morning. So let's see how I do. Now, last time I checked in with y'all, I had just finished with my astronomy class, which was City of Lost Souls. And I needed to figure out how my afternoon was gonna play out because I had two hours of study hall on a Monday and my first exam is coming up today, which of course I haven't finished the book for. So I did a little hemming and hawing, trying to figure out what to do. And ultimately I decided the smart way to go would be to attend Bog Cataloger, which is, well, that was unexpected, just in case any surprises came up and it turned out that I wouldn't have time to get to it today. So I did, I think it took me one and a half of the study hall times. Let me check my handy little bookmark. Yeah, it took me about an hour and 20 minutes to finish the book. I also opened the last gift and attempted to film my video on this and I think that's where everything kind of fell apart for me because this book turned out to be quite unexpected for me. I didn't end up loving it as much as I expected to which I was shocked by because I was really enjoying it. So I, I still haven't quite decided how the review on this is going to go and I'm going to have to figure that out quick because as I mentioned it is Tuesday and my exam is today at, what time What time is my exam? Oh, thank God, it's on in midnight. I could just see where I had noon. So I have all day to figure this out, get it registered with G, and type up my review. And then I will get an A in this class. Right now, I am guaranteed a 70 because I have completed the book. So if you want more thoughts on that one. I will obviously have another video for it and unboxing. It'll come out hopefully at some point during May. We will see. Anyway, that was my afternoon. I used up my study hall time for that. And then evening classes came along and I had an hour of dragon riding. And then I had two and a half hours of study hall at my disposal. So since I haven't finished my dragon riding course, Aragon, did go to this one. Yay me. I was proud of that. And I went, actually, yeah, I started that at 6.30. I went for an hour. I read till 7.30. Really enjoyed the class. I'm still loving the book. And I'm, I'm making progress. My exam for this one isn't until Thursday, so I'm not too nervous about it. So I finished with that class at 7.30. And I just could not bring myself to, yeah, my brain shut down. I don't know if it was the long weekend of editing the spin and vote video and then trying to do today. I was just like, no. <laughs> so despite numerous attempts, I have, with recording, ultimately I just gave up. Tried to go to bed early. The animals just went crazy. They kept me up to like 2.30 because Finley was being such a Finley and wouldn't leave the other cats alone. So yeah, it, it was a Monday, but that is behind me now. So before we get into today's schedule, let's go ahead and take a look at everything because it is exam weeks. Exams start today and I, I, I don't know where I stand. So let's kind of take a minute, look at everything together, and then we'll find out what my fate is for the day and I'll hopefully hit the ground running. So briefly about study halls, let's do a little 
summary of those real quick because they can get a little confusing. And my schedule is now filling up with study hall fast because I have finished more than half of my syllabus. So that is awesome. But if you look here, you can see all of those wonderful gray squares. Now the way it's supposed to work is I can use them to catch up on classes that I've missed previously. And I try not to go back more than a week's worth. I can't really reclaim like class time from the third day of school because I mean, come on. So I, I try to limit it for a week back or I can use that for classes that are mandatory for that specific day. For example, today I still have three mandatory classes on my schedule, which are astronomy, dragon riding, and animal studies. So the three study hall periods that I have, I can either catch up on classes from last Tuesday to now, or I can get extra time in my mandatory classes for the day. Finley's getting too close to Joey. <laughs> Joey, just chill. I swear these cats. She just has no patience for him. We need more pheromone callers. Okay. Where was I? Oh, now, of course, once ex exams happen, then study hall gets another layer added to it because you don't have to complicate it. And really, it makes sense because once the exam happens, the teacher's going to lock the door. She's not going to be there anymore. So that city hall will vanish off of the schedule. So as we get further in this week and I sit for more exams, I'm going to lose more study hall every day. The class I am the farthest behind is animal studies. And that exam isn't until next Monday, which on the surface is like, yeah, that's going to be awesome. But it could bite me because I'm going to be losing study halls and I am so far behind on that. So anyway, that's the state of affairs over here at Aurelium, and uh, uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. What I do know is, as of this point, I am guaranteed 70 in this class. I have a C, because I finished reading it. I still have to get over to G's Google Drive, register the class today, and then get my review up, like I mentioned before. What I'm going to do on that to avoid uh, spoiling my own little series here for anybody who follows me on Goodreads or Storygraph. I'm going to type up my review and just put it in the notes section of those websites. Then once the video goes up, this one goes live, then I will make that review public. That way I, I won't spoil for anybody who is following me. So, cause you know, I have to complicate, but I, I think it's worth doing that. Oh, Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. So now we need to get to Tuesday. We, we are all caught up and let's find out the fate deck. We need to see what's going to happen to me today. Hopefully it won't be anything too, because it's already, uh, the, the morning is flying by me. I'm excited for y'all to see today's video. It's where y'all get to meet Jack, our new kitten. So that one goes up and I, I bet y'all are just going to be like, all right, let's give these a little bitty shuffle. Hope for something good. And see what's going to happen to me today. Win first place in a raffle. Buy a book from Wishlist. That's awesome. Okay. Oh, that reminds me. I didn't do yesterday's fake card. So later on this afternoon, because I am running late for my morning classes, we will scour my shelves. I still got to clean my dorm room. I got to get rid of four books. <laughs> I get a new one. So this is awesome. Okay. Now my brain's running through all the books that I want. I, 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 I can't. No brain. Stay on track. Fate deck's loving me. That scares me. All right. Put this up. Let me see what time it is. It's 11 o'clock. <sighs> I already lost an hour and a half of potential reading time. So I've got a one hour to run to more, my morning classes. And I need to figure out which one I want to do because it is study hall. The classes I have left are the ones that are mandatory for the day. So I'm not really scared about Aragon or City of Lost Souls. I need to go to animal studies. Cause it's luck. 
20% of the way. I don't even know. I'm on page 138 out of 50 million and two. Not really, like 675. I'm hosed. So I'm gonna go spend an hour in this one. Hopefully I can get back into it. Yeah, I don't know how much of a difference it'll make because I was lost anyway, but I read this a little bit on the 9th, the 10th, and the 11th. I think that was last week. It's Tuesday. It's been, I haven't picked this up since Thursday of the first week of school. So it's been like 10 days and I was lost to begin with. Okay, let me go jump back into this. I do remember it left in a very, it was like an action scene from a movie that the thriller part had kicked in and things were really amping up. I left them in that, in that situation. And there was like right smack dab in the middle of it. You know, there may or may not have been an explosion of some kind. And they may or may not have been on a bridge or on a mountain or, you know. <sighs> okay, I'm going to run off to this class and then I will be back and we'll figure out what's going to happen this afternoon. Oh, this afternoon, I know. I'll be going to Astronomy, City of Lost Souls. So probably what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. And then I will go to my afternoon class at some point before 6 o'clock. And I will come check back in with y'all when I'm done with both of them. We'll see how that works. All right. Wish me luck that I actually make it to my class and get a full hour in. Because I, I need that time. Y'all should be so proud of me. Guess what? I actually went to some classes today. Crazy, right? Let's see. Last time I talked to y'all, I was going to do some study hall for the morning. And I actually did an hour with In the Courts of the Sun for animal studies. I really enjoyed it. I've My whole opinion on this book has changed. And I've gotten used to the, the main character. And he's actually quite funny. He's a... Uh, has Asperger, I believe, and his stream of consciousness, the way his thoughts run, it, it, it just cracks me up. Spending half my time chuckling and the other half going, oh, what's going to happen next? So I am so invested in this and so pleasantly surprised. I can't wait to get back into it, which I will be doing here shortly. I do, however, plan to go back. Somehow I'm going to work it in. I want to go back to the very beginning See if I can wrap my head around the whole game, sacrifice game, the theory behind everything a little bit better. And then I think I'll enjoy it even more. But it is definitely drifted away from that, although it's coming back into play. So I don't know. We'll see. I don't know if I'll actually have time to do that, but at some point I want to do it. So anyway, I did that this morning and I was supposed to then go to astronomy for two hours this afternoon and I did it can you believe it I actually went and I am so close look in fact I think I shortchanged myself yeah I shortchanged myself if you look at my schedule I was supposed to have two hours and I thought I only had an hour so I only read an hour I would have finished this no problem if my brain hadn't kind of short-circuited and I, I panicked and left class early and unfortunately by the time I figured it out it was already past six o'clock because I read it towards the end of the afternoon and then I went and made dinner and then I completely you know I just set it aside to make dinner and everything so if I would have delayed I would have yeah but it's okay I'm not panicked I have until Thursday with this one and look no problem. I can knock this one out. So I'm going to, I'm going to make it with this class. And then that brings us to this evening. I had an hour for dragon riding and I went to that class too. All my teachers are kind of in shock today. They, you know, I keep showing up. You got to keep them on their toes. Can't be too predictable. Right. And look, I'm close on this one. I only had an hour today, but this one's a really fast read for me. I think just because I've read it so many times. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I am liking City of Lost Souls again. It picks up towards the end. This just, 
I, I, I don't like that one as much as the others, but at least the ending's good. And I'm like, yeah, because we're at the climatic, action-packed ending, and I am enjoying that part. And of course, this is always a good time. And it's really got me excited to read Murtaugh now that uh, I remember who his character is. I, I have that on my shelf, so I'm going to have to make sure to make a point of getting the rest of this trilogy on my TBR so I can read the new one. But that's something to do in a future future month because we still got to finish school. I'm not done. Um, let's see, this evening I do have Animal Studies. So I get to go back to this for two hours, which will be good because I still have a very long way to go in this and I'm still reading it slower. It is, you know, a smaller print. I said at the beginning when we first started this that this was dense writing and I think it was probably just by the time I got to this book I was on the second day of starting to William and I was already at like eight or nine books and I think my brain was just fried so I don't think it was actually as dense to begin with as as I perceived it which is another reason why I want to go back and restart that but I'm not doing that during class time because, you know, I, I, I can't afford to give up. Nope. So what I, I think what I'm going to do is, like, maybe tomorrow or the day after, like, after I complete the study hall or mandatory class time, if I do have some free time in the morning outside of school hours or in the afternoon, then I might go back and read the beginning. But again, we'll see how that plays out. Oh, I almost forgot my fate card. I got to go get a book, remember? Because I won the first place in the raffle. So, I got it. What the River Knows. This was one of the books suggested for our Start and Stop Buddy Read for May. And I, I, I couldn't resist. I had to get it. Because it, it's just checks all of my boxes. It's supposed to be like the mummy, it's death of the Nile. It's going to have a mystery. And I didn't realize that there's also magic. This was a YA, which surprised me. I thought it was going to be in the adult section. I had a, a little bit finding it because I was looking in the mysteries and thrillers and it was actually with the YA and I think with fantasy because it does have magic and it's going to have a romance. So it's a divine exploration, a deadly secret as a desire she can't escape. And I'm so looking forward to this. I need to look and see. So off of the head, off the top of my head, I can't remember who it was that Gamer Girl. So I got it. I got it, Gamer Girl. Hopefully this will get on my list for May. We will have to see. I cannot wait to read this book. And I love the cover. All right. Back to school. Oh, I didn't. I haven't unhauled for from yesterday. You know, I was supposed to declutter and I completely forgot about it. Instead, I went out and got another book. So let's pull four books from my shelves real quick while I'm thinking about it to make space for a new one. Okay. Um, uh, I do know one I want to get rid of. This one can go. It was from Owl Crate Jr. It was an okay read. I didn't hate it or anything, but I have no desire to reread it again or even continue the series to have a dragon. In fact, I read it for Aurelium, I think in August last year for dragon riding class because I was a dragon. Anyway, I, I won't read it again. So there's one. I need three more. You know what? I think I'm going to make it really easy on myself. If you've seen past TBRs, I've read, this is a bind up of one and two in the Fallen. I read book one. I don't want to, I, I keep, I don't, I don't want to finish it. I don't want to read book two. I, I just have no desire to read this anymore. I remember liking it way back in the day, but this time around, it just, no. And look, I've got, it's five books total, but three, three physical books. So this will free up like a lot of space. And if I'm, every time I see them, I'm like, ew, no. So I think I'm just going to pull off the band-aid and go ahead and get rid of them because 
Yeah, I cringe every time I think, well, I should finish that book. No, it's just going to go. So there, that was easy. And that actually left a pretty look. Look at that big gap it left right there. That's awesome. So let me see. What else do I have? Because I do have in the courses. Oh, I've got my first exam today. I haven't done that. I have to register with G and I have to do my review. Otherwise, I'm not going to get credit for Bog Cataloger. Right now, I'm sitting at a 70 and I, I want to bring that grade up to an A. So I need to go. I've got to go do my exam. I'm going to do that and do. I don't even know what time it is. Whoa. <laughs> it's 1040. I have until midnight to do the exam. So I'm going to do that first. And then I'm supposed to go to animal studies for two hours. <laughs> yeah, here we are in exam week. And I, I still didn't make it to all my classes today. Because there's no way I'm staying for animal studies for two hours. Because I'm not staying up till one o'clock. I, 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 no, I, I don't want to be exhausted tomorrow. So I'm just going to go to animal studies probably for an hour. I don't know. We'll see. I will come back and let you know if I actually got it all done or not. So I will see you in a little bit. Cross your fingers for me. Okay, it's 12.15 midnight. And I'm about to turn into a pumpkin. <laughs> so I did go to Animal Studies. I'm enjoying it. I did not stay for the full class time. So I got about an hour and 15 minutes in. I started at 11. And that's enough. I'm going to call it. Because as you all know, Finley will be getting me up in the morning. And I don't want to be brain dead tomorrow. I, I need to have my wits about me. Because I, I still haven't finished. I have more classes tomorrow. And I turned in my exam and got my first book registered with G's at Google Drive. So I have officially finished bog cataloger and I think tomorrow we'll just go ahead and we'll fix my schedule tomorrow because I am tired so tomorrow bog cataloger comes off and all of those story and all of those study hall times will disappear so it's going to be a little scary watching all my study hall vanish now that I'm finally getting to use them but that's the nature of the beast all right I'm going to hurry up and sleep before it's time to get up, and I hope to see you day after tomorrow for my second day of exams. Have a good one. Bye.